Welcome to That's The Point, your inside scoop on the latest construction technology and workflows, brought to you by the experts at Building Point. Hey everyone, welcome back to That's The Point. I'm Jonathan Stickle, along with my co-host as always, Steve Karen. Steve, how are you doing today? Doing good, doing good. Glad to be back. Glad to see us both wearing the uh, XR10s again. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, we're both wearing the XR10, so we'll both uh, be showing you guys some stuff in this episode. Um, we've gone through registration, collaboration, um, Connect Desktop, and we've uh, kind of discovered some advanced features, I guess, as uh. you would say. So we wanted to kind of walk you through uh, views, uh, sequencing, uh, the section box and uh, the fishbowl. So now we want to set up a sequence. So say I want to come in here um, and I'll do something, you know, pretty generic so that you can see, but we'll come in and let's say we're going to remove these two panels. Okay. Um, so I'll come over to my side menu, come down to the kind of the time, time clock there uh, and hit my sequence button. And then this is just now where we start to add steps. Okay. So my first step, select, and then make your choice. So let's do panel number one. Okay. My instruction is going to be to remove panel one. Okay. So now I've got that object selected. I can add that object and then we're going to add another step. I want both of them gone. So add my next step. Now, as you can see, as soon as I move to the next yeah, step, remove that, panel. that panel has been removed. Okay? okay. So it's the same type of concept. So that when you're out in the field, when you're viewing this, you're seeing these step by step, you know, like increments of, of yeah, yeah exactly okay. increments to um complete the uh, task at hand so next step i'm going to go ahead and select my object again remove panel two add that object and now add my next step and you can see panel two has been removed okay so so on and so forth so i mean really if we wanted to do this step by step we could you know, we can go through the process of removing or adding, you know, mm -hmm. new items, you know, from literally from the ground up. Okay? Very good. So I can go ahead and, and save this. And then that, that's created my sequence. I can then sync this to okay. the cloud so that you can then view this from your XR10 out in the field or, you know, if you're collaborating, whatever the case may be. Okay. All right. So now from here, what I'd say is we want to hop in and show you what this looks like from an XR, XR10 perspective, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my visor on. Yep, and there we are. We're in our uh, Trimble Connect for HoloLens um, view. And over here to the left is where you can see my, my different menus. And again, we had a pre-setup um, sequence here where we're installing a, a sync. So it's, yeah. it's got, you know, kind of a, a stub in. It's got, um, you know, some of your valves and things like that, your countertop, so. Um, nothing crazy, but it's just something so we can give you some reference. So I want to launch my sequence, and what I'll do is go ahead and stand up here. And as always when we're in our XR10, we always want to get a good map of the area. So just a quick scan. Since I'm going to be doing this right here in front of me, I'll get a good scan of that. And then air tap. And here we have our model. I want to go ahead and Bring this down, and I want to dial into the focus of, I want to focus in on the area we're going to be working in, so that's this countertop and sink area, so I want to get get nice and close, okay, so now I feel comfortable, so again, what we see here is, is you know, this is our completed model, so this is, you know, this is every step after it's been completed, but I'll get into my menu, and now under your tools button is going to be your sequence, so I'll select that, hit my sequence, and now my sequence is going to pop up here. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way just a tad so that, you know, we can still see what's going on because that's where I'm going to have uh, my stub outs and things. So let's go ahead and select our first step. So step step one is ground zero, you know, nothing. Um, step two, now I can see my stub out. Step three, I've added some valves. Next step, I've now have my countertop with my uh, opening for my sink. And then my final step is installing the sink. So once I exit out of this, now you can see the finished um, finished product. For this instance, we did remove uh, some of the cabinetry just because we wanted you to be able to see behind uh, okay. the cabinet so that you could see those uh, the pipes and the valves and things like that. And if you don't do that, that cabinet would have stayed there. So that's the reason we did that. So that's really a quick and easy process, you know, depending on what you're doing, just to be able to, you know, have someone in the field be able to quickly reference that to see 
okay, I, I, I'm starting here. That's the next thing I need, need to do, the next thing I need to do to get to that final, you know, final product. Okay, sounds good. Yep, so that's it in a, you know, in a, in a nutshell. Very good. I'll go ahead and um, just show you guys a couple. I'll go ahead and throw on my hollow lens and show you guys a couple, um, a couple other features. Uh, the section, the section box feature that uh, we mentioned in a few episodes ago. So I'm going to open up. Um, I'm in the demo data, and I'm going to open up this structural model. Just launch that. Okay. Okay. All right, so it kind of just gives me some uh, instructions that I can move, rotate, the menu. Okay. Aggregated. All right, so here is our model. It's just a structural model here. I'll kind of flip it around a little bit. All right. And I want to focus on just this staircase here. So this is kind of a larger model, so... It um, there's a lot here, but it doesn't show you all the all the details of everything specifically. So I see the staircase. Um, it's not showing the stairs, but we know the stairs are there. So we we're just gonna use in our section box, clip in, and bring this model in to where we'd like it. Grab this. Yeah, Trimble did a good job. Rather than kind of giving you a full data dump, and when the in with this thing, it'll. It'll allow you to scale and then enhance to bring in all that kind of, you know, kind of fine-tuned data that, that's in there. Exactly. Okay, so we're pretty much sectioned off to this uh, particular stairwell. Now I'm going to open up my menu, and I want to see the stairs, so I'm going to click Enhanced, and that'll populate now all the stairs uh, leading in this staircase. So when it's opened up as a large model, it doesn't show you this. Um, but if you use in the section box, you can get down to a, drill down to a specific area of your model and then using the enhance function, um, you can see a more uh, specific data in that particular area. So if I hit reset, that just brings us back out to our full model. So just wanted to show you guys that tool. I'm going to go ahead and exit out. I'm going to show you one more also in, it's also going to be in navigate, but I just want to oh, move this down. a little bigger okay and then come back we're going to go to navigate and we're going to show you um the street view and this will kind of get you into like a one-to-one -one view with your model so i'm going to shoot down to that column okay so now this brings me literally down to this column view and i'm like viewing this in a one-to-one -one ratio and i can kind of i'm walking underneath in this uh in this deck area and you guys can see as I walk through, you can see the, the beams and columns over top. And also, so the fishbowl tool, it's also located in the navigation. So once you get to street view, then the fishbowl is right here. And this will pretty much just allow you um, to have like better visibility of uh, things that are distant in your model. So as you're walking throughout your model, things will become more clear as you walk into those certain areas. Um, so that's where that is located. So once again, navigate, um, once you're in, uh, once you're in that street view, you just go to fishbowl. Yeah. And again, those fishbowl settings, um, can be adjusted in your settings, yep. uh, right tool. There. Yeah. Right there. It can dumb that down for you and it can scale it back so that you're only seeing what's in your, you know, kind of close vision there. Mm -hmm. But as you approach, things will start to, you know, become more come, visible come to light. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So pretty, pretty good stuff there. Yeah, so that's those are just some of the advanced features of the XR10 that we found when uh, kind of playing around with it. So we wanted to share those with you guys. Um, if you want to learn more, as always, please reach out to your local Building Point representative. We're here to help you out. Absolutely. And on behalf of Steve, myself, and the entire Building Point team, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on That's the Point. Thanks again for joining us on That's the Point. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe on YouTube today.